<laughs> Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. We were friends and I was always like, hi friends. And then I realized that like we're closer than that. So now we're besties. All right, so I had a full moon ritual and I think it's about time that I post my new moon ritual. So new moons are less intense for me. For me, the energy is super high at the full moon. I feel it, it usually like throws my whole life off course. Things go crazy. I have like breakdowns every couple hours and life just gets a little chaotic and then the dust settles. New moons, however, I particularly enjoy. For me, the new moon rituals are less about releasing and more about inviting new energy and embracing what is to come. So my new moon ritual is pretty simple. This video is gonna be a little shorter than the other one but I'm just gonna share with you the things that I like to do during a new moon. So if this video gets posted on time, which I really hope it does, then that means the new moon is today. So that means you gotta take advantage of this new energy that is coming in and do what you gotta do. So let's light some Palo Santo and cleanse some energy. So that's the first thing that I do, but I'm just gonna do that here right now because why not? I wanna show you guys how I do it. In my house, like not my house, at my parents' house, I was not allowed to light smoke of any kind because my father's Jamaican and he thinks that anything that's on fire, like candles, incense, sage, is gonna burn the house down and um, I wasn't allowed. So now that I live on my own, I love to use certain tools to cleanse my space. So with the new moon, what you're gonna wanna do is you want to try and find a way to use the four elements in your routine. Four elements being earth, fire, air, and water. So like the zodiac elements. So incorporating earth into your routine. That could mean doing something such as grounding, which I ground myself by going barefoot outside and just allowing myself to bring in the energy of the earth. So close your eyes, stand on some grass in your backyard, wherever, and be barefoot and just imagine the energy of the earth like entering your body and just grounding yourself. Imagine there are cords that are connecting from your feet all the way to like the center of the universe or to the roots. Like there's like roots growing from your feet into the soil, just plummeting through the earth and ground yourself. Imagine that there's an anchor that is hooking itself into the earth that's connected to you, that's grounding you. And that's a way to incorporate earth into your routine. Another way is to use crystals. Crystals are of the earth. So, I mean, I have selenite right here as another cleansing tool, but crystals of any sort, amethyst, depending on what you're trying to invite into your life in this new cycle. So if you want to invite, let's say, love or self-love, you're gonna go for a rondonite or you're gonna go for a rose quartz. If you're gonna invite abundance, then maybe you'll do citrine. Or if you're looking for calming energy, you know, you want, your chaotic life to just settle a little bit, incorporate some aquamarine. Depending on what you want, figure out what the crystal is that corresponds to your desires and go for that one. Air, so a way to incorporate air is of course just breathing exercises and, sorry, my nose is stuffy because of allergies, so that was kind of gross, but breathing exercises and just being outside in nature and just breathing in fresh air. Just literally go outside, spend five minutes outside and just Soak it all in, breathe in, breathe out, and enjoy the fresh air that you have available to you. So yeah, you could do literal breathwork exercises. You can find some on YouTube that gets you into like a meditative trance or just like, you know, cleanses out your system. Just look up breathwork exercises for whatever you want in life. Like let's say breathwork exercises for anxiety relief or whatever it is. So yeah, breathwork. And then another way of incorporating air is just diffuser. So put some lavender essential oil or tea tree oil, or whatever, put in your diffuser and let that nice, beautiful scented air into your space. And that'll kind of set the vibe for your routine as well. Fire, as you saw, I just used some fire with Palo Santo. There's a lot of cleansing tools like that that you can use fire with. I love um, specific candles. So money candles, love candles, abundance candles, chakra candles. Another tool you could use is sage. You could use incense. You could use bay leaf, cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick apparently attracts money. That's what one of my close friends told me. Water, two things that I suggest. One, take a bath. Take a bath. Two, if you still have moon water left over from your full moon ritual, then drink that moon water in the new cycle. I like to save my moon water sometimes and just drink it during the new cycle. Do that or just like drink a glass of water and just speak to it. Express your gratitude for the universe, to God, your archangels, your ancestors, for your life, for being in this body, and just speak over the water 
and then when you drink it imagine that it's like putting new energy into you the next thing that i like to do is i like to grab all my materials and set up my sacred space so my sacred space usually has things like my tarot cards my crystals a journal my singing bowl and some of the element tools that i mentioned like the incense or the moon water whatever it is that i'm using during this routine i also like to go on youtube and look up singing bowl sound baths as i do with my full moon routine because i'm not going to play my singing bowl the whole time but i do like to have some type of you know cleansing noise playing in the background at low volumes and i just let that play in the background and then when i'm ready to play my bowl i either play to the tune of it or pause it and i do my thing so at this point is when I meditate, I sit and reflect on what I want. So like I said, this routine for me is more about inviting new energy and manifestation and planting seeds. Full moons are the time to release, let go, detach, things like that. New moon, new energy. So you want to invite the new energy into your life. So start meditating and visualizing exactly what you want your dream life to look like. Say the affirmations that are acting as if. So for example, I would be like, I'm so grateful that I hit 500,000 subscribers on YouTube this month. I'm so happy that my channel is growing. I'm so grateful, blah, blah, blah. Like express gratitude for things that you have and things that you want that you know, you are speaking as if they are already yours. Say those affirmations. They help, trust me. The next thing that I do is I take some time to look at my vision board and I do this daily, but during the new moon, I like to look at my vision board. Like when I say look, I mean I look at each picture on the vision board and imagine that it's mine one by one. This can take me like 15 minutes sometimes. What's the energy like? So I look at everything and I visualize it as if it's mine. I make a little movie in my mind one by one. I spend like 30 seconds on each one and it's a really great exercise for the new moon. And then the next thing that I do is I sit down and I script. So journaling during the moon cycles is great new moon you're going to be scripting you're going to be talking about your dream life so you can write out a full page of what your life looks like and i always give the example of don't write about oh i want a car by 2022 write about what you want your life to look like last night i drove my new car here i'm so grateful that this car is mine i picked up my new friends because i made so many friends this year i was able to treat all my friends to dinner because i just made a lot of money last month and i'm so grateful that life is finally the way that i've envisioned it for so long write about your dream life as if it's already yours that is scripting it's pretty much a journal entry from the future so think about who the woman of your dreams is or the man of your dreams is or the person of your dreams is right like when we're not talking about partners we're talking about you think about you becoming i'm a woman so i'm gonna say woman the woman of your dreams what does she look like what does she act like who is she where does she work what does she do how much money does she make like who is she right as if you're her already and show up as her in your day-to-day -day life. So again, I'm saying she because I'm referencing it to myself. So for example, like if I wanna be someone that's like fit and healthy and committed, I have to wake up and show up as that person every single day. Even if I take baby steps, you gotta do the work to see the results. Manifesting is just bringing, you know, your vision into reality. It's already yours. It's just a matter of it being projected into the 3D world. So make that happen, script it out, materialize it, write it down. The next thing that I do this is the last one that I do. And I love this one because it gives me so much clarity is I pick out some tarot cards. I didn't always have a tarot deck. So what I would do is I would typically look up Aquarius May 2021 reading on YouTube and I watch a tarot video and it usually applies very specifically. So look up your zodiac sign, look up a tarot video and put the month after it and then you will find some answers in life. Trust me. If you have a tarot deck such as myself, then I like to do one to three card spreads. So for example, I will do a past, present, future reading. So I'll pull a card and ask my spirit guides like, what is in my recent past? What is the current energy? And what is to come in the near future? I'll ask my tarot cards that and I get some answers. I look it up on Biddy Tarot and I get an in-depth analysis on what the card means and it's great. But yeah, that's pretty much what I do for my new moon rituals. I absolutely love these after I finish the whole routine. I just put everything away and I either go to sleep, I watch a show, whatever I need to do. But I usually don't spend too, too much time on this routine. The full moon one is way more heavy, intense, and a lot longer for me. This one's more of like a, okay, we already know what we want. So let's like refresh it and put it back out into the universe again. And it's great. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like my routines, make sure to let me know. I have a full moon worksheet available for you guys. It's a walkthrough on how to use the full moon to its greatest potential and a breakdown of all the steps, all the tools you need, how to meditate, all these things. So if you want to check that out, the download link 
link is in the description. I'll also be creating a new moon worksheet as soon as I can. It's not available yet, unfortunately. Hopefully by the next new moon it is out. These are free by the way, so take advantage of them because one day I probably will charge because it is a lot of work to create them. Um, but right now I wanna give you guys these resources for free. So enjoy them while they're here because they take time. They take a lot of time. Um, so I hope you guys do use them and enjoy them But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up Let me know what a part of your routine is and let's share some thoughts in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys